Hello, welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. At Pi Excellence Tutorials, we tutor uh, students, university students, um, in courses such as physics, mathematical methods, chemistry, uh, biology, statistics, and many other courses. We also do assignments, we do research consultation services, and many other services. And um, if you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly subscribe because a lot of videos will be posted here in these courses and you are going to be able to benefit. So in this video, we are looking at physics uh, under simple harmonic motion or waves and vibration. So the question talks about the wheel in a simplified engine has a radius A equal to 0 0.25 meter and rotates with uh, angular frequency of 12.0 rad per second. At time equal to zero, the, the piston is located at uh, x equal to a, x being equal to the amplitude. Calculate the piston's position, velocity, and acceleration at t equal to 1.15 seconds. OK, All right, so we get started. This is simple harmonic motion. And we know that uh, the displacement, okay, the displacement of, um, of this piston is going to be given by x being equal to It's given by that amplitude cos omega t plus phi. Okay, so phi is basically the phase change. Okay, so now in this case, since t equal to zero, we are not going to have the phase change. So this equation is going to be reduced to, to that. Okay, so now this is the equation that is going to give us the, the position of this piston at that particular time. Okay, so we can even prove this statement to say at time equal to zero, we have X being equal to amplitude. Okay, so at time equal to zero, what do you have? You have amplitude times cos. So we have whatever we're going to multiply here times zero, we'll get zero and we'll get amplitude cos zero, which cos zero gives us one. So at x equal to zero in terms of time, we have the position being equal to the amplitude. Okay, so now what about when time is 1.15 seconds? So it's basically replacing where there is t with 1.15 seconds. So let's do that. So we are going to have x at 1.15 seconds is equal to Amplitude, what is the amplitude? 0 0.25 meters. And then we have cos, angular frequency is 12 rad per second times 1.25. Here is 0 0.25 meter cos. So we say 12 times 1.15 seconds. We are going to have a 13.8, right. So now this is the mistake that you should not make. You should make sure that when you're dealing with such, your, um, your calculator is in radians, okay? Because remember we have this unit there, which is radians. So you have to make sure that it's in radians. So you change the calculator to radian. So what you're going to have is, um, When you multiply, you're going to have as about 703719 meters, of which you're going to say this is 
8.27 meters. So this is the position of the piston at time being equal to 1.15. Okay, so now how do we get uh, the, how do we get the velocity? So when you're getting velocity, you basically differentiate uh, position or di displacement, then you're going to get the velocity. So we're saying velocity is basically with respect to time. WT, like that. So differentiating this one, I believe you are okay. Uh, you know a bit of calculus. Um, so you are able to differentiate uh, this one, this function. So what you're going to have is uh, negative W A sine W T. That will be the velocity. So now what we're going to have velocity at time 1.5 is going to be three forward per second. We are multiplying by and then we are multiplying by 0 0.25 meter sine over at times uh, time 1.15 seconds. So what do you get? So we have sine 12 times 1. 0.15, we get that. Okay, so we're going to have negative two point per second. So that is our velocity. For us to get acceleration, we differentiate again our velocity. Our velocity. So once we differentiate this one, we're going to get uh, negative omega squared. Uh, so time at one point that we are going to have a negative of um, 12 seconds, and then cos is 1.15 seconds. So we're going to have, um, So we're going to have negative 11 point, negative 11.91 kappa square second. So that is how you get to solve uh, this question. So the thing that you have to note on this question is to be able to differentiate the functions, okay? If you know the, the, the displacement function, you must be able to know how to differentiate it to get the velocity and to differentiate it again to get um, acceleration. Besides that, you need also to make sure that your calculator is in radian, depending on the um, SI units you are dealing with. So if you are dealing with degrees, you make sure that it's in degrees. And in this case, we're dealing with radians. So you make sure that your calculator is in radian, then you are going to to be able to solve this question without having any difficulties. So if you have found this video to be helpful, which I believe so, make sure you subscribe, you give it the reaction and share as well with others. And remember that if you're looking for a private tutor in any of the courses, you can easily get in touch with us and we'll be glad to be of your help. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.